friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it's Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I shopped for Thanksgiving and for the week, so I'm excited to share with you everything that I picked up. If you're excited too, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because we do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend. This is how I've lost and maintained my 140 pound weight loss and spoiler and one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's jump in to the grocery haul. This happens every time. Every time I try to film the groceries. Yeah, you two fight. Palmer, Palmer. Look, no fighting, okay? Yeah, you guys are crazy. So I did my grocery shopping this week at my local fry store, which is a Kroger store. You'll see all the stuff I picked up for Thanksgiving. We are having Thanksgiving at our house with my in-laws and I'm responsible for the ham, the potatoes, and the stuffing. So let me show you everything I picked up for Thanksgiving and for the week. I did grab a couple bottles of wine per Troy and my mother-in-law's request. So this is some white Zinfandel and then some Chardonnay. I literally had no idea what to buy. This lovely lady at the store helped me. If you didn't know, I don't drink alcohol, so I wasn't even sure what to choose. But these two, she said, were really good choices for white Zin and for Chardonnay. And then I bought a big, huge loaf of bread. I, this is a French baguette. I'm going to allow this to get kind of crusty. This is going to be for my breakfast meal prep. And then they had their dinner rolls, buy one, get one free. Now we obviously won't eat all of these, but I can throw them in the freezer. So I did pick up the Sara Lee Hawaiian rolls. And then I got these artisan rolls, which I thought looked really good. And we can have those on Thanksgiving. And then I thought we could make little Hawaiian ham sliders with the leftover ham. I did pick up two gallons of milk for Troy. And then I saw these and I thought these would be really fun just to have as part of our lunch or dinner. These are garlic lover stuffed mushrooms. And I thought I would just throw these in the oven, warm them up. They look really, really delicious. And then I did stop by the meat section as always. And again, scored some really good deals on meat. Check your reduced meat section because if you don't cook it right away, just throw it in the fridge or freezer and you can save yourself so much money. So I did grab a pound of 97.3 ground chicken, $3.47. This was the deal of the day. I actually only bought one because I bought one last week. This is the 93.7 ground turkey taco season. So it's ready to go for taco bowls. And then I needed chicken breasts for the week for my meal prep and I found this diced up chicken for $4.09 a pack, which is about half the price of one. So I basically got a two for one on that. And then I also got two pounds of 93.7 ground turkey for 407 per pound. Also a fantastic deal. Grab some more paper plates because I had a coupon and they were on sale. I needed Frank's wing sauce, buffalo wing sauce for my meal prep. Spoiler alert, I'm making something buffalo chicken. Stay tuned for my dinner plan and meal prep at the end of the grocery haul. I did pick up one more box of stuffing. I already have one box, but I wanted to make sure that I had enough. So I went ahead and grabbed one more. And then I bought the blueberry mini scones from the reduced bakery section. These are so good. Also, sorry if you can hear the leaf blower, uh, the landscapers are here. And then I got some cheese, lots of cheese. I got some part skim shredded mozzarella, some light shredded Mexican blend, and then you already know. I like my big chunky cheese and I actually had an additional coupon for this. So I paid less than $2 for this bag. And this is New York cheddar, Vermont cheddar, and Wisconsin cheddar. So good. And then I did pick up my favorite cottage cheese, Good Culture, and then a huge thing of sour cream. I put sour cream in my mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving. And then of course, just to have sour cream on hand. Here's my ham. This was the deal of the day. I got a spiral sliced honey ham. So on this size side, it said it was $33.47. So I thought that that's what I was going to pay. I didn't bother looking at the back and I actually paid $19, which is a really good deal for this huge, huge ham. And then I bought some more gravy. I do have one of these and I wanted to make sure I had enough for Thanksgiving, so I got another gravy. And then a huge bag of potatoes. My favorite for mashed potatoes is gold potatoes or Yukon gold potatoes. So I peel these, boil them, and make really good homemade mashed potatoes. Speaking of the potatoes, I did get some fresh chives. I love to add fresh chives into my mashed potatoes. 
Lots of lettuce. I got this 50-50 blend. It was $1.57. We're going to have BLT sandwiches and salad today for lunch. So that's going to be perfect. And then I needed some baby spinach for my meal prep. And then I like to have that for salads and throw it in my eggs and things as well. I did grab two packs of blackberries because... I needed just a little bit more fruit. I still have some raspberries and I have some apples left over, but blackberries sounded really good. And I did pick up some new fruit and vegetable storage containers. I'm gonna show you guys those because I'm gonna use those for my lettuce and my berries. Okay, so I wanna tell you guys about the fruit and vegetable storage containers. These are from the brand Luxier, which is the same brand that I shared the mixing bowls in my meal prep from. I love this brand. I've actually purchased similar containers to these in the past and love them. This is actually a five piece set and the sizes range from really large to really small. They come with the colander. So if you have to wash fruit or vegetables, you can do it right in the container. And then they come with locking lids with a air hole, depending on the type of fruit or vegetable you're storing, you can pop it open and allow air to escape. These contain the upgraded ventilation system. There's an adjustable ventilation button allowing you to control the levels of oxygen and carbon dioxide inside the food storage container. That way it creates the optimal environment for your fruits and vegetables. It actually helps keep them fresher for much longer with the airtight locking lid. Again, you get five containers in varying sizes and you can store everything from fresh produce, fruits, veggies, berries, strawberries, blueberries, salads to meats, fish, lettuce, bacon, and even larger items like watermelons. They're multifunctional. You can truly store just about anything in there, even dry foods like rice, grains, cereals, nuts, legumes, snacks, coffee beans, and more. They're 100% BPA free. They're portable, convenient, and the handles actually lay nicely in the lid so it's easy to stack and store. You have a three year commitment to free replacement and refund warranty, as well as lifetime technical support should you encounter any issues with the storage containers. You can buy these right off of Amazon and I will put a special discount code down below for you, but I love that you can buy these right on Amazon, have them delivered to your doorstep. And like I said, these are really nice for storage of fruits and vegetables. That's pretty much what I use them for. And again, this is about the second set that I purchased and I really, really like them. They would make a great gift for the holidays or a great gift for yourself. So I'll put everything down in the description box for you. I also picked up some sliced mushrooms. This is for a recipe. Lots of green bell peppers, also for two different recipes, a couple zucchinis, and then a big spaghetti squash. I love spaghetti squash, and that's going to be part of my lunch meal prep. I also grabbed a 24 pack of Diet Coke. So that is everything from Fry's Kroger store for Thanksgiving and the week. So here is what is on my dinner plan for the week. So today out to dinner. Tomorrow I'm going to make some kebabs. On Monday I'm doing penny beef bake. This is a one pan pasta dish. You'll see that in Wednesday's what I eat in a day. Tuesday's leftovers, Wednesday's tacos, and then Thursday and Friday are leftovers as well. We will have quite a bit of ham left, so we'll be doing a lot of leftovers and recipes involving ham, especially for breakfast and lunch. And then what you'll see in meal prep on Monday is for breakfast, I'm doing a breakfast casserole. This is what I needed that crusty bread for. And then lunch, I'm doing buffalo chicken spaghetti squash. Also super excited for that. And then for a snack or dessert, I'm making a clean ingredient pumpkin crumble bar. I'm still all about pumpkin, at least for a little bit longer. So we're going to do some pumpkin bars. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up for Thanksgiving and for the week. Definitely stay tuned for meal prep on Monday. If you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on because again, I upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for the refrigerator storage containers, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, we love to have you come and join our Facebook group. Thank you for watching. Happy Saturday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.